let's look at the other type of uh, condensation polymer we'll be dealing with and that is called polyamide so we have in the case of polyamides we have an amine the monomer is a one one monomer is an amine and so let's take instead of the alcohol i've just made amine and let's take the same uh, carboxylic acid because why not let's take the same carboxylic acid so respectively this is a benzene ring okay so this is a polymer now um in the in the case of this type of polymerization again the OH of the carboxylic acid and one H atom from the amine group will bond together. So, for example, if I'm reacting one molecule of this and one molecule of this, then I will have Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, I made a mistake, not the one, I, I don't want to confuse you, so I'll make the H on top because the one on in the bottom has already been rea reacted to form the water and we have the C, this one, and we have O, so this is called an amide group as you've seen in the organic nitrogen compounds playlist, the amide group and if you, so this is the amide group and we have a water molecule again because H and OH release to form water so we have a water molecule again now let's just say that again we are not combining one molecule of each but instead this time we are combining n molecules of each which means we are combining several thousands of molecules of each together so what will happen in this case is that uh, instead of one molecule of each we are combining n so let's just say we react it with another CH2, CH2. And then another because it will obviously there will be several. So I'm just making this. Okay, so we are done with this now. Now we are reacting several of them. So what happens in this case is that let's just keep this H over here for now. We will remove it later, obviously, because a polymer is forming. But for now, so we know that this is combining with this, then this is combining with this, then this is combining with this, and similarly. So like, let's just. Uh, quickly make this CH2 CH2 NH CO double bond let me just make that more accurately then we have our benzene Another NH, then CH2, CH2, NH, and then again CO, benzene ring, COOH. Now let's keep, let's keep this C, this OH for here because of course we'll have to remove it later so now let's see the repeat unit let's ignore this hydrogen so let's start from here so we have NH CH2 CH2 NH CO benzene ring CO and then again we start again NH CH2 CH2 NH CO benzene ring and obviously we'll have CO let's just remove this O for now and we'll have CO so we can clearly see that a repeat unit in this polymer is from here to here and then again this is the same repeat unit 
from here to here. So this is a repeat unit of the polymer. So we will be representing this polymer.